Let's solve this algebraic equation. 4x minus 7 equals x over 3 plus 4. So we're going to solve this for x. So we want to combine our numbers terms and our x terms. So why don't we begin by putting all of those things on the same side. So let's put the 7 over here and the x over 3 over here. So let's add a 7 to both sides. And then we have 4x equals x over 3. And then we have 4 plus 7 here. So that's just 11. So we have plus 11. Now we want to put the x over here. So we subtract an x over 3 from both sides. And then we have 4x minus x over 3 equals 11. Now these don't have the same common denominator, so we can't add them in the normal way. We can't add 4 plus 3, for example, or 4 minus 3. So we need to rewrite this and this to have the same common denominator. So to do that, we want to divide both of them by 3. So this is already as low as we can go. That's great. So we'll have minus x over 3 equals 11 here. And we can rewrite this as 12 divided by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that will give us the same common denominator in front of our x there. So in other words, we've multiplied the numerator and the denominator here by 3. So now we have the same common denominator, and we can add or rather subtract these to get a single x term. So 12 thirds x minus 1 third x gives us 11 thirds x, like so. And now finally, we can solve by x by doing an inverse operation in one step. So we want to get rid of the 11 thirds, so we have x equals something. To do that, we want to multiply both sides by 3 elevenths. So that will cancel. We'll just have x equals on this side. And when we multiply 3 elevenths here, we can see that the elevenths cancel, and we just get x is equal to 3. And that's it.